Well, thank you very much, uh, very, very much, Mr. President Shimon. Um, you really are both a good friend, but but equally importantly for me, uh, you're both a mentor and an inspiration. And I think you know how much I respect your uh, journey, uh, your many initiatives, your incredible patience yourself and commitment to this, uh, to this effort. So I'm really um, honored to be both sitting with you and working in the same cause with you uh, in this effort. Uh, last night, I had the privilege when I arrived here, I, I was taken uh, to that infamous site, which you know too well, uh, where you were the night that uh, Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin was assassinated, and you were right there. And I know that the two of you had just finished singing a song together. Uh, don't whisper a prayer, sing a song of peace in a loud voice. That the sound right. And um, it was very moving. Uh, Dalia was there, and I was very touched that members of the family came. Uh, but most importantly, I was inspired because that was 18 years ago. And he dared to fight for peace then. Um, the least we can do, any of us, uh, in following his example and inspiration is to continue and to try to find, find the goal line here. Uh, I am convinced from my conversations today with Prime Minister Netanyahu as well as with President Abbas that this is not mission impossible. This can happen. It will require both leaders to make big, historic, difficult decisions. But I am also convinced that those are decisions that are absolutely, totally uh, in the interests of their country, Israel, and their country to be Palestine, uh, and in the interest of both peoples. As you said a moment ago, there is no alternative. Uh, there will be chaos, violence, uh, turmoil, confrontation. Uh, in the absence of peace, uh, you cannot live with perpetual war, particularly in the Middle East, and not find huge complications. So. President Obama uh, has asked me to put this time into this effort. He is deeply committed to this cause. Uh, we believe that uh, over the next months, with good effort, uh, we can hopefully make some progress. Obviously, on Iran, um, our eyes are wide open. Uh, we, we appreciate your comments, and we certainly appreciate your support for exhausting the possibilities of diplomacy. Uh, and our hope is that Iran will understand that uh, this is a simple obligation. Show the world that you are pursuing a peaceful program. It's not that hard. Lots of other nations do it. So we will remember our friends and their interests, and we will be very thoughtful and careful as we proceed but I'm very grateful to you again for your support for our diplomatic effort. So as always, uh, Mr. President, it is a great honor and, and, and uh, uh, a special moment for me to visit with you, and I look forward to our conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.